thanks to the Dorset LEP. Um, some key bits of equipment uh, have just arrived at the Orthopaedic Research Institute. Uh, they are the uh, Gate Lab uh, and also uh, the virtual reality training uh, equipment. Uh, the Gate Lab is really one of only one in 20 in the whole world uh, that allows us uh, to see what the outcomes on patients of new devices uh, and new surgical techniques. The virtual reality uh, training equipment is really state of the art. Um, we've got uh, one of the first modules in the world which are now allow us to train surgeons both locally here in the UK uh, but also international surgeons as well. Uh, and this means that surgeons won't need to practice or have their learning curve on actual patients but actually can train and become competent at the surgery uh, in our virtual reality lab so that when they go and operate on patients they can get it right first time. Uh, and this is really state of the art. Uh, our HIP uh, training module will be one of the first in the world uh, and really will give us the edge uh, that will encourage students to come from all over the world uh, to Bournemouth. Behind me you can see the, uh, the machines that we're working on while we're doing research. One is a, uh, a knee arthroscopy trainer and the other one is a knee arthroplasty trainer, so for the prosthesis and we can uh, upgrade our skills on those. They will be of benefit because first they can, they can learn on these kind of machines before they can um, do, the, do the real surgery uh, on patients. We're tremendously excited here at Ori. Uh, we've just taken delivery and installation of a MoTeC Forcelink Grail gate lab. Uh, this is one of only three systems in the UK and one of only 23 in the whole world. Uh, it's cutting edge technology uh, which is going to enable us to, to um, complete world class research in gait analysis uh, and orthopaedics. Uh, we bought this equipment um, as part of the lo local growth fund uh, funding that we received um, from the Dorset Local Enterprise Partnership. Well, When a patient comes uh, into uh, the gait lab we'll obviously check them in and take some basic uh, measurements um, and basic sort of uh, measures of their um, body. Uh, what we then have to do is we have to put 25 uh, little um, reflective markers on their body uh, and this enables the 10 uh, infrared cameras around the uh, rig to pick up those spheres. This enables us then to build uh, an almost stick man um, you know, representation of their movement uh, and we can then start to do the calculations of joint angle uh, and joint movement uh, as they walk. Uh, as well as those reflective markers, uh, the treadmill uh, that the patients walk in uh, has got a force plate built within it. That force plate allows us to work out ground reaction forces uh, and the amount of force that they're putting through uh, their right and their left leg. The treadmill itself is self-paced. What that means is that it adapts to the patient's walking speed. It's not like the treadmill at the gym which you set to a certain speed and then have to walk to. This reacts to the patient's natural walking speed. Uh, you're not just walking on a treadmill or walking over some force plates um, sunk into the floor. With the Grail system, you're walking into an augmented reality. Um, so as you can see, you're walking into a forest scene or you're walking through a, a moonscape or um, you know, alien landscape. And the purpose of that is to make it interactive for the patient. The, the system can be used not just for um, research and gait analysis but it can be used therapeutically so the screen is interactive uh, you can set it up so that you have to throw balls at things coming towards you you have to touch and reach targets this is really uh, important especially for things like falls research uh, we know with people uh, who are more likely to um, fall that often they fall because uh, they're trying to do two things at once what we call dual processing so this actual machine we can get patients and challenge them with dual processing tasks, not just walking, but having to respond to objects and different things at the same time. Gate analysis allows us to have that detail and those precise measurements to see whether different types of prosthesis, different types of operative procedure, or different types of rehabilitation protocols actually improve things for patients. Primus RS is the best muscle testing equipment in the world. Um, we were delighted to purchase this uh, with the um, Dorset LEP um, grant. Uh, what it enables us to do is it enables us to test muscle strength of any muscle in the body with a large variety of different movements and different movement patterns. This is extremely important because we can only 
um, assess whether new interventions, new treatments and new techniques are better than the current one if we can get an accurate measure uh, of muscle strength.